is a no disqualifications match. Making his way to the ring from Lucerne, Switzerland, weighing in at 232 pounds, Cesaro. The king of swing is in the house. I wish he'd come over here and swing you, Cole. Sir, this guy's fit to be tied, but his resume speaks for itself. You know, Byron, many people were thrilled to see the reunion of Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. Cesaro was not one of them. Well, Cesaro always makes it clear that he hates nostalgia acts. There was a time when the Shield ruled WWE, but Cesaro and Sheamus... And now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. Cesaro and Sheamus were enemies first that became friends. Cesaro believes that's an advantage over Ambrose and Rollins, who were friends that became enemies. Try wrapping your mind around that luminous logic, Saxton. Uh, well, I've always been taught to treat people the way you want to be treated. Therefore, I cannot relate to theories about enemies, Corey. This might be it! Oh, my! Agility. You know, Byron, Dean Ambrose is a superstar that I would assume is almost pointless to strategize for. I would agree, Michael. I mean, how can you construct a strategy for a guy that never has a plan like Dean Ambrose? His unpredictable style is Dean's greatest asset. Drop down. Trap the off. Breaker. Cesaro staggering some here. Byron evaluated Dean Ambrose's unpredictable nature as an asset, but what thing is predictable with the lunatic fringe? He will somehow always risk life limb to do something courageous. I understand why some people enjoy Dean Ambrose. He's got a unique style. You can call it courageous, you can call it stupid. I call it pure unbridled lunacy. making a move. Oh! Like a heavy bag. Can he finish the job? All that's left now is for Ambrose to finish this. Rolling him up. Rolling through. Oh, there it is. Dirty deeds. Can't waste any time here. And just... Oh, easily. Oh. More than that. Yeah, 
Ambrose starting to struggle Jeez. now. He's going to need to find a way to fire back. Ouch. And it's Ambrose showing some agility. Drop kick. Beautiful. No person could take much more of this. Cesaro not looking good. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. At this point, he's risking serious injury by continuing. I mean, he's getting out torn apart in there. Cesaro needs to swing the match back in his direction. Think? He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Drop kick! Oh, oh great height. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, my gosh. Oh! Uppercut to think I almost wrote him off earlier. We'll be looking for the neutralizer. Neutralizer. Turn out the lights, guys. Cesaro's your winner. Cesaro may have just ended this one. Boy, I think you're his shoulders are down. And it's Ambrose able to stop the count. Gonna take more to get out of the Ambrose asylum. Yeah, a lot more. And if Dean Ambrose is able to break free, Kaiser is reaching for the figurative brass ring in the WWE, and then there's taking it. Cesaro is a superstar who has always been on the cusp of going to the next level. Fans still sense an untapped potential. Oh boy, he is rolling. Looking for a repeat. You gotta believe this one's over. The air just came out of the Cesaro section. Quick cover from Ambrose. Truth. Down. He's in trouble. Rolling him up. Rolling through. Oh, there it is. Dirty D. This one's over, guys. He's done it. That match deserves another look, folks. Check this out. Almost forgot about this one. He's getting it done here. And I always enjoy watching him perform. Here is your winner, Dean Ambrose. Impressive showing there and route to the win. To get the pinfall victory over such a high quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing.